<sighs> I think that's it. Great. So, is Matt still teaching at the same place? My sister's kid starts there in the fall. Maybe Matt could be his unofficial mentor. <laughs> or no pressure if Matt doesn't have time. I'm sorry. I don't know why I told you that uh, Matt's out of town. He died five months ago. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I, I didn't, no, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna. I'm so sorry. Ever since you left my office, I've been struggling between my role as your therapist and my concern for you as a friend. Friendship won, but too late, it seems. Well, I really screwed up this time, Linda. Turns out I'm just as bad as our killer. Oh, God. You killed Pierce? <laughs> no. No, but I did try everything to get that lovesick former immortal out of the picture when really all I should have done was told the detective how I felt. how I really feel. Then why don't you? I can't. What are you so afraid of? <sighs> At first it was your double face. What now? You don't want Chloe to see that you have wings? I mean, who cares? I do! I care! Why? Because she doesn't have a choice, does she? Neither do I! It's all part of his... Master plan to toy with us to make us dance for his bloody amusement. That's an excuse. Don't you see? You're doing the same thing as him now. By not telling Chloe the truth, you're taking her choice away. No. <laughs> no, it's different. You know, the truth is, no one really knows what your dad's responsible for. We're all just guessing. Even you. But you know the one thing he can't control? What you do in this moment right now. So I ask you, the devil, what do you truly desire? I want her to choose me. Then tell her. Yes. Yes. spent my entire childhood in Marais, hours in the swamp, and I don't think I've seen it this lush before. Plums appear, flowers bloom. How is any of this happening? It's, uh, it's a little hard to explain, only that it's not connected to a world that has anything to do with logic. Or science. Well, science is real. It's profound, but... Now I know that there's other 
parts of this world that are just as profound, just as natural. Like the green. There's more than that. There are these unseen forces at play all around us. It's forces of life and death. And the best of times, they, they work against each other in a kind of harmony, keeping a balance. And then there are times and places where there are darker elements, the death and the rot. It takes over, drowns out the green. What is that? These trees. They're in pain. Chainsaws, toxins, the accelerant someone's been dumping. It's lashing out in anger. What are you doing? I need to get a sample to take back to their lab. No. If this is the source of the biological anomalies affecting Murray, then we need to understand it. You're not listening to me. We're not going any further. It's too dangerous. There could be a wealth of knowledge Abby? in there that could lead us towards a cure. I'm not going back without a specimen. Abby? There's nothing left to unpack. Really? Can't be done. You think you'll like it? Riker? He's a lucky guy. You're the reason why he was cleared. That's not luck. He's cleared because he was innocent. He deserves to get his life back. Everything he lost. And after you turn Riker's sleeve in, where will you go? I don't know. I don't know anything. Except that she's still alive. Good luck, Nikesh Kovac. After his princess. Voila. I love these. So is this some kind of Forrest Gump reference? Life is like a box of chocolates? <laughs> Actually, uh, life is like a vat of molten chocolate. Uh, sometimes you, you fall into it. It drags you down. But it, it's, it's warm, you know? It, it's, and it's, it's sweet. This is a very weird metaphor. <sighs> when you came back into our lives, I was so glad and afraid. <laughs> I knew Christopher missed you, but I, I, I don't think I realized just how much I did, too. Eddie, um, oh, I please just think... just Let me say this. We were so young the first time. You know, young and not ready. But we had this amazing kid. Being his dad has been the single greatest joy of my life. And that little boy has taught me more about being a man than more ever did. You're a good dad. You're a great dad. Well, if I am, it's because he deserves it. Yeah. But he deserves his mommy, too. He loves his mommy. <laughs> So do I. I want us to be a family again. I wished for a sign. <laughs> and I got one. I'm not pregnant. What? I'm not pregnant. I, I was just late. I freaked out and then I freaked you out too, and I'm sorry. That's gotta be a relief, right? It doesn't change a thing. It does for me. What? I wrote this letter a few years ago, 
right after I left. Actually, after I didn't come back. To Christopher, I'm trying to explain why I couldn't be there. And I figured that if for some reason I never found my way back, that he'd want answers. And he needed to know that it wasn't his fault. That his mother didn't leave because she didn't love him. She left because she did. I never sent it, obviously. And then when I found out today that I wasn't pregnant, I took that letter out. I read it. Eddie, I never want to have to send that letter. Why would you ever? Because if I try to do this again before I'm ready, there won't be a second chance. I can't fail him again, or you, and I won't. So I'm still learning how to be someone's mother. And after that, maybe I can learn how to be someone's wife. We're still married. I think we should get a divorce. <laughs>